countering corruption, a religious, national, and societal responsibility. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, don't seek to spread corruption in the land, for Allah does not love those who do this. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Corruption is a negative phenomenon that wastes power of individuals and states as an obstacle against construction and development. Therefore, the heavenly messages warned against corruption in all forms and manifestations. The Almighty Allah said, Don't cause corruption in the land. The Quran reports Prophet Shu'aib as saying, Don't withhold from people things that are rightly theirs and don't spread corruption in the land. Also, Prophet Musa told his brother Harun, as the Quran tells us, act rightly and don't follow the way of those who spread corruption. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, said, the one who seeks Allah's favor, obeys the leader, gives the property he values, treats his associate gentle, and avoid doing mischief will have the reward for all the time whether he is asleep or awake. Corruption has many forms, the most serious of which is those related to financial and administrative devotion through encouragement on public property, neglect, neglecting in performing one's responsibilities nepotism, bribery, and fraud. All these are forms of unlawful earning which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warded us against, saying, don't consume your property wrongfully. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him, said, the curse of Allah is upon the one who offers a bribe and the one who takes it. He, peace be upon him, also said, some people acquire Allah's wealth, means Muslim wealth, is an unjust manner such as people will be put in hellfire on the day of judgment. The Prophet وسلم, also said, flesh which has grown out of unlawful earnings will not enter paradise. But the hell is more fitting for it. In another hadith, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, He who deceives us is not of us. Undoubtedly, undoubtedly countering corruption is a religious, national, and societal responsibility. Religious responsibility entails reforming human soul and educating people in how to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and observe him in secret and in public. As the Almighty Allah says, He is with you wherever you are. He is with you wherever you are. He sees all that you do. Allah, glory be to him, also said, Allah is always watching over you. The religious responsibility urges us to promote values of honesty, truthfulness, and other noble values. A true believer is a reformer. A true believer is a reformer and not a source of corruption. As the Almighty Allah says, should we treat those who believe and do good like those who make mischief throw the land? Or should we treat the riches like the 
the wakt. As for the national responsibility, it entails fostering the value of loyalty and affiliation to the homeland, deepening the sense of responsibility towards public money and public utilities, spreading a culture of integrity and transparency on a wide and societal scale, and punishing spoilers, spoilers, and punishing spoilers and corruptors. The Almighty Allah has promised punishment for the corruptors, saying, those who wage a war, war against God and his messenger and strive to spread corruption in the land should be punished by death, crucifixion, and the amputation of an alternate hand and foot, or banishment from the land, a disgrace for them in this world, and then a terrible punishment, a terrible punishment, and then a terrible punishment in the hereafter. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his companions and followers. Societal responsibilities require fostering general culture that rejects corruption and achieving societal monitoring that is aware of the danger of corruption to the whole society. The way to achieve this to activate the rule of religious, educational, and media institutions. Allah says, if only there had been among the generation before your time, people with a remnant of a good sense to forbid corruption on the earth, we saved only a few of them. While the unjust pursued the enjoyment of plenty and resisted innocent. It also requires exposing corruption and to co cooperate with the competent authorities in revealing all kinds of corruption, so as to allow stability to prevail in the whole society. As a prophet, peace be upon him, said, the likeness of the man who observes the limit prescribed by Allah and that of the man who transgresses them is like the people who get in a board of a ship. It's like the people who get in a board of a ship after casting lots. Some of them are in its lower deck and some of them are in its upper deck. Those who are in its lower deck, when they require water, go to the occupant of the upper deck and say to them, if we make water, if we make a hole in the bottom of a ship, we shall not harm you. If they, the occupants of the upper deck, leave them to carry out their design, they all will be, will be drowned. But if they do not let them go ahead with their plan, all of them will remain safe. May Allah protect Egypt. May Allah protect Egypt from evil, from all evils, and protect all other countries. Thank you.